Hi folks, first time I've been in the workshop for probably about two weeks now actually, and uh, it's in a bit of a state, Jimmy's been working in here, so I've got to have a bleating clean up, and I've also got a few stickers to put on the sticker board, and uh, we'll have a little chat, I'll see you in a minute. Well, as you can see, Jimmy's been doing a bit of work on the, his friend's car, which means taking over my workshop so I can't get in it. And the trouble is, is that, look, nothing gets cleaned up afterwards. I've got to clean all this up myself. My old thing's been painted over, my me, me, um, me hydraulic lift. There's dust everywhere and car bits everywhere, look. Unbelievable. All this has got to be cleared up, but this half, lucky enough, when you come through here, this is where Gary's been working. <laughs> and it's a, obviously I have cleared up in here, but uh, he's actually kept it nice and clean as well. So these are the carbs off of the um, Thundercat, the uh, YZF 600, as you can see there. So apparently he's done a video on these. You ain't seen that yet, but uh, that's gonna be coming out as well. And uh, also, I don't know whether you're interested or not, but uh, these sort of uh, vintage signs here, these little sort of A4 ones here, not these round ones or the bigger ones. This size is what we're gonna be actually reproducing this sort of thing and we can put any pattern we want on them they're actually tin plate or aluminium plate whatever they are and they're made to look old and distressed and all that so i'm in the process of setting up as a little business and uh, we're getting back into that sort of printing game because i like the look of these old signs and as you can see there look the old texaco one uh, sorry the old so one there looks very nice so yeah we're going to be doing them me and sharon so we can even do them with your youtube logo on it or whatever so you can pin them up in your workshop or whatever just something else to have in the background while you're um doing your videos for example so that might be a nice thing for you they won't be too dear they'll be about six to eight pounds something like that so we're not too sure yet obviously plus shipping but um we're in the process of setting that up in a moment and we'll bring more of that to you probably early in the new year so that's one to look out for so i better get me a finger out now put you on a little bit of time lapse and start making a clear up in here. I'll see you in a minute. Right, we're slowly getting there, folks. It's taken a while. I've cleaned the main part of the worktop down. I'm just getting these um, battery guns cleaned out as well. Let me get me compressor, hold on. Oh. Because we have all the uh, dust you get in the workshop, these can get all clogged up as well. So just go through the air vents. Just give them a bit of a clean up as well. Surprising how hot these get after You've had your hands, like when you're pushing on something and you've got your hands over the vents, they sort of warm up pretty quick and you, you want to sort of make sure that the airways are all clean on them. I can see stuff coming off as I'm doing this. Also around the connectors. I mean, I'm pretty lucky I've got quite a few of these and uh, some people have only got one. Probably easy to look after if you've only got one. <laughs> Alright, so that's that. These are a handy tool. We use this quite a lot as well. This um, little Sealy 12 volt 3 8 uh, cordless ratchet as well. Absolutely great. But we've got two batteries with that as well. Always handy to have a second one. Jimmy uses that a lot when he's stripping down car bumpers and stuff like that. The big plastic bumpers on cars. So, another handy tool to have. So, just finish off uh, clearing out all this collected dust in here. It does blink and mount up, surprising it gets absolutely everywhere. So that's that. Put these back in. Some people put these in the other way around, like that. Some of them fit in nicely and some of them don't fit in quite well. Especially if you've got different brown ones. That one sort of hangs wonky if you can see, look. So I hang them up all upside down and that tends to do the job. Oh, hold on, look out. Oh. Looking. In hell. Yeah? Oh, I can't believe that. I tripped over. Look who's just turned up. I just tripped over there, folks. Project Man. We've just shown them your 600 
carbs, we're just trying to look at them. You're down to do a video on that now, aren't you? Well, hopefully we're going to refit them now and get the bike started. And you won't believe it. Now, you did start up in a previous video, didn't you? Yeah, I think in the last video before last. Yeah, have a look at that, folks. It started up. We did start it up, although it was flooding. The, the, uh, one of the carbs was flooding, wasn't it? Yeah. He took the bowl off. I ain't going to say no more. Go out and look at his um, carb refitting video. When he, When's it coming out? Saturday. Saturday. Watch it on Saturday. You won't believe what was in the bowl. And it still run that bike. You have a look at that. Anyway, I'll let you get past. As soon as I've just fallen over. This is another Andy tool as well, folks. This one. Um, I've never sort of had an inkling to get one of these until I've done the bathroom refurbishment upstairs. Which meant running pipes in and getting floorboards up. And these are ton and groove floorboards as well. And this, for chopping in and getting out a part like an inspection trap up and stuff like that these are absolutely fantastic <laughs> got the five amp hour battery on them you can get the smaller ones and they are interchangeable with the uh, the drill ones as well which is that one so i'm happy with that hold on he wants to get past again yeah mind that lead i've just tripped over that because it's been left out on the floor the air lead who done that then well i don't know did you use it oh they've seen my new t-shirts <laughs> yeah all available on ebay under project man Retro Restore or Butler's Empire if you want to get the merchant done. And they've started doing the hoodies as well now. So anyway, that's that. Yeah, so these are absolutely fantastic tool. And another tool, uh, another t uh, place I found it coming very handy, was when I was digging the um, posts in the garden to get the concrete spur posts in for, to, to support the fence where the, the wooden panels, the wooden posts have uh, flopped away, got floppy. Digging down, you hit the big roots and all that. These are ideal for cutting the roots out where you can't get a swing of something in there. And you can cut through the big thick roots with these as well. So just another way you can use them, folks. So very, very handy tool. And what I never realised, because my battery Clark impact gun, this is the half inch one, which I've got. These these come with the well, you can get them with five amp hour batteries, uh, but I got the ones with the two two amp hour batteries. And someone said to me in the comment section, great idea. They said that the five amp hour batteries on your Dewalt should fit into that as well. Now I never knew that because. I've never tried actually, but they're a bit tight, but they do actually go on. They're not the easiest to fit, but you can actually. Now someone mentioned to me that, oh, getting a five amp hour battery wouldn't do nothing for that. This now, you wouldn't believe the extra grunt this has got over the two amp hour batteries. Absolutely fantastic. So I didn't have to go out and buy a set of uh, five amp hour batteries for me Clark. And this was able to undo a really, really tight nut. What was it? The drive shaft nut on the end of the car with the 5 amp hour battery. The 2 amp hour battery wouldn't touch it. So for those people who said that the 5 amp hour battery wouldn't make no difference, it would just give it a longer duration, it does give it some more oomph. And you can tell that when you squeeze the trigger. There you go. I'll leave that on there for now. So yeah, the Clark batteries, uh, it's like having extra spares. But the great thing about these 5 amp hour lithium iron batteries is they've got a battery indicator on the back of as well, so you can see if they need more charge. So that one does need more charge, actually. So having plenty of charging stations here. You just whack that up, put that down now up there. That's a full charge battery. Another full charge battery, is it? Yep. Say? So? Oh, here she comes. Here comes my princess. I'll just check whether you was in shot, baby. My, my, my microphone's there, okay? Okay. So I'm just having a clear up, as you know, how Jimmy's been in here, and he's made a right mess of going, uh, Daddy's workshop. Oh, that's his sleeving thing, isn't it? It's what he likes to do to you. Yeah, he's clawing at the door now, Merlin. He's in, Sharon. He's in. Trouble is, when he comes in... The thing is, I actually think he wants to be in all the videos. He's picked something up again. Look, he's straight there, look. He went to, but he couldn't get it. <laughs> straight there. He, pick, he picks things up and he just runs off of them. Dougal's fine. Dougal's absolutely Dougal's fine. Dougal's wonderful. And he's, the show, he still have it. It's a scraper. Thank you. Out. 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 Go on, out, out, out. So don't forget, folks, on the 19th of December, you've probably seen the, um, the trailer, the preview. Oh. We've got our live stream in, in the evening, 7.30 in the, in the evening, UK time. So do make a, a, do make a beeline for that in the evening. Ooh. With, yeah, with one of them, sure. So we hope to see you there. That's for our Butler's Empire channel, which Sharon represents. 
Yeah. And Retro Restore coming together. We've got some little sketches and stuff like that. If there's any of you Retro Restores that haven't seen Butler's Sharon, Empire, why actually, not go across? He's actually biting the handle. And have a look. It's his too intelligent. This go on, Shay, you better go. He's driving me crazy. That's the padlock. He can lock us in. Well, he'll lock us in, Shay. That's not bad, thing. Go on, there you go. See you later, baby. Come on, Pest. I'm going to be a while, Shay. I'm clearing this lot up. So, yeah, I'm. <laughs> Got distracted while I'm here actually I might as well greet out this little thing which we got from one of my subscribers uh, to all our family at Christmas let's just show you that one and this is to Martin Sharon family Dougal and Merlin <laughs> uh, wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a happy healthy New Year from Kev Bow and uh, his missus or his other half Jackie thanks very much you two long long time subscribers uh, and they come from Epsom if I remember rightly as well so thanks very much you two that will go up in the butler house. I've got a couple of uh, stickers as well. Now this one apparently has been trying to get to me for absolutely ages. I spoke to him on a couple of occasions and he said he sent it twice. It comes from uh, Canada, I think, and it has to go back to Canada as, as couldn't record it or couldn't send it or whatever. It's been sent now via Mix Mowers because he's used, he, he knows Mix Mowers as well. And that is Ken Small Engines Repair. And uh, th th thanks very much, Ken, finally for getting one. I don't know whether you've got one of ours, Ken. If not, drop me an email and your, your address uh, and we'll obviously ship one in the post. I'm not sure whether you've got one or not, Ken. I'm not sure. But that will go on the Wall of Fame in a second. Thanks very much. Now, if you don't know Ken, Ken is a small engine guru. He knows what he's talking about. You can tell people know what they're talking about when they're talking to you, if you know what you're talking about as well. Ken's one of the people who knows what he's talking about. And then we've got this chap here who just recently started his channel, Rob Small Engine Repair. Now, again, Rob's uh, uh, mostly does smaller stuff like uh, strimmers, chainsaws, that sort of stuff. I think he does lawnmowers as well, and he's working on a little pit bike at the moment, which is uh, a present for one of his relatives. So he's going to be refurbishing that on his channel. So if you're interested in that, do check out Rob Small Engines as well, and give him a sub. He's only just started. It'd be nice to get him up to a few, uh, few more people. So let's go and put these on the wall of fame. Now, as I've mentioned before, I've got to sort my wall of fame out because. This was only done quick. So we put you over there next to Top Conquer, Rob. There you go, buddy. Nice little sticker there. And also, Ken, that's a nice thick quality sticker, Ken. Very good, nice, nice quality. Right, and we'll put you down there, Ken. There we go. Ken Small Engine Repair from Canada. And Rob from Yorkshire. There we go. Happy days, boys. You're on the wall of fame with all them little babies. Beautiful. So, as you can see, folks, it's not just the um, worktops that need sorting out. It's all the down below stuff as well. All the dust and crap and stuff like that that needs sorting out. All my paint corner, my me, uh, me lift there needs a good clean down as well. That's full of thick dust. I've still got the mobile moped under there, which needs refurbing. And also the spares I've taken off. So that's, again, all ready to go up. I've still got to assemble the uh, cylinder head for the Reliant Regal. I know a lot of you want to see this up uh, coming up, but um, I'm not in no hurry, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to be doing this in the bad weather outside because I need to get the chassis all sorted out again. But um, I can rebuild the head and get the engine back together. That was the plan. But as you know, the engine is on the engine stand over the back there, ready to go. But... Uh, when Jim is in here working and stuff like that, I can't actually get in here to do stuff. So I have to work around what other people are doing in here as well. And then I have to clear up after them as well. I know I shouldn't have to, but that's the way it is, I'm afraid. So I did get this area clear, as you can see. So if I've got any work I need to do on uh, uh, something small, I can use this half, not a problem. And uh, that's what I've been actually doing. So um, yeah, I do like this area. And as I say, it does need a good clear up in here. This is one of the other bikes we got folks to restore. Again, not too worried, it's sitting in here now. It's a little Honda 75, Honda V-Matic, whatever that is. I've not even started it up yet, so I don't even know if it runs. It kicks over, so it's got compression. It's in pretty good condition. It will need a new seat cover on it. And uh, from the exhaust cover there, you can see that it's just got some surface rust on it. The rest of the panels, I think, are plastic, and they should clean up all right. It did have a broken, um, well, cracked front mudguard there. You can still get them. I've seen a couple of them on eBay, so I may buy one of them, not sure. And under here as well, it's got a little split out there, look. And it's got only 3,346 miles on the clock. Nice little vintage step-through moped there. 
And again, you don't see many of them about. In fact, I don't ever recall seeing one back in the um, 80s. I think this was an 80s one, wasn't it? T Red, 79, 1979. So, yeah, nice. So, that's another one which we're going to have on the go. So, I've got all this bomb site to clear up. I don't think you really need to see that, folks. I'm getting there now on the worktop, as you can see. So, uh, I'm going to carry on here. So, don't forget our live stream on the 19th of December at 7.30 in the evening. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Hope to see you there, folks. And uh, we'll have some fun on that day. As I say, we're doing some T-shirt giveaways and a few other little things as well. And uh, just get yourself sit down in your armchair, put it on your big screen TV, switch on, and uh, have your mobile phone with you if you want to try and enter the competitions and stuff like that. There'll all be one on the night, so there won't be no waiting. It will be done in the chat. We'll work out a way where we can get people in the chat to um, enter the competition. And one other thing I will mention as well is that to go into the chat, if you want to enter the competition, to even go into the chat, you must be subscribed to the channel because I'll have it switched on to subscriber only mode. That's just basically to get rid of any old trolls and all that sort of stuff. So they've got to be subscriber only mode. So you have to be a subscriber to the channel. And uh, that way you can also go in and have a go at winning the uh, t-shirts and other little things we're going to be giving away as well. Anyway, folks, I'm going to carry on in here now. You've had enough rubbing away from me. I've been making other videos as well. So um, keep the eye out for me, Butler's Empire channel. Check out the merchandise, which you can get on eBay. Just go to ebay.co.uk, type in Retro Restore, Project Man, or Butler's Empire, and that will take you to our t-shirts, merchandise, and also our hoodies and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Only a short one, this one. But keep watching and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.